Dear Memorian fans, this is Volker, the developer of this amazing and very function-rich flashcard app. Today we will talk about the seamless integration of learn and play to memorize new and forgotten facts with ease. And we will break down this rather complex diagram into its simple parts. Let's start with the way you learn new cards in the beginner mode. You get a question, think about the answer and turn the card. Now you grade the quality of your answer. If you think you will remember this for two days, tap easy and the cards follow the blue path. If you didn't know the answer, the card will stay in the current cards to study going along the yellow path. Thirdly, if you kind of knew the answer, but only in short term, you will follow the green path. In the later case, you will be asked at least 15 minutes later with the same choices available. The third time around, you will typically know the answer and the choices are reduced to see it the next days or immediately after. Typically, this works fine. But for some cards, this first memorization steps stutters. But instead of just adding more 15 minute delays, we decided to make each step more fun by integrating games into the learn mode. Everything stays the same, but if you don't know the answer, you will play two games with the card, both easier than actively recalling the answer. This simplifies memorization. This can also happen in the second delay step. The games you play change with the asking direction. For example, it doesn't make sense to play type it when the answer is in your native language. Type it is then automatically exchanged to spell me, where you listen to the foreign text and type what you hear. Or if the sound is off, no text to speech or sound files are available or no languages are defined, then spell me is further exchanged to a second big one. This concludes the changes in the advanced mode. Wasn't too bad, wasn't it? The rest of the video is for the real experts between you. If you just started with Memorion, let's say two weeks ago, it is probably too much information. Just come back later. As a Memorion expert, you can now start tweaking the system to your liking mostly by changing the preferences slash learn mode. First, in delayed repeats, you can change the number of delayed steps, meaning the number of rows above the bottom one, from zero to three to infinite. Second, you can change which and how many games are played at each step, from zero to two. If you want other combinations, please tell me. Third, you can change the minimal break between these delayed steps. So far, all these changes were only relevant when learning new cards or the forgotten ones. Now let's look at the answers to cards that already have longer intervals. In expert mode, you have an extra button in the bottom right to change the play steps dynamically for each card at this moment. Tapping this button will also let you repeat this card today, independent on the final answer you are giving. You could use this, for example, if you want to practice information in the fine print of the backside of the card. That is not grading relevant, like synonyms, antonyms, example sentences, whatever you have put there. This is all for this new integration of learning and playing. If you like these extra tips, Subscribe to this channel and share my videos with your friends. When you access these videos through Memorion, you gain FOM points. Thanks for watching and enjoy Memorion to the fullest.